Hello, everybody, and welcome to a video on how I edit uh, the upcoming series. Um, I'm going to just mute my speakers. Um, so here's how I make these videos. Uh, I use XSplit, and I use Days Mume, and for audio, I use Audacity. I use Audacity because the built-in audio is pretty shit in the trial version um, of XSplit that I have that I got just for signing on to um, uh, Twitch. You can get it by going on Twitch. I'm using my camera for this because otherwise I would just be recording itself and uh, tried to think with Skype and Fraps, didn't really work. So yeah, Fraps out the window. Here's a new guy in town. Um, how to use XSplit is pretty interesting. Um, you have these scenes down here, they're for all different stuff that you might be recording. You can right-click any source you put in and have it save in memory, and you can always come back to it. Now, to add a source, you simply go... Um, oh, and if you're wondering how this is going so fast... Um, if you're wondering why this is going so fast, I'll link you to a uh, an optimizer, which actually gets a um, publicly sourced version of Desmume that makes it run ridiculously fast. Um, and of course, if I started recording, it would slow down a lot. Speaking of recording, you start recording by hitting broadcast and then local recording. Where does it go after that? It goes to, if you haven't said it anywhere else, XSplit videos in my videos. And if you ever want to find it, I just go start menu and type in your uh, email address that you use. So how do I get this? How do I get from... Here's what I do. You screen capture and then you click the window and you get this now how do i turn this into uh where is it yeah how do i turn that into this well i make the layout in desmume uh not in desmume in my art program paint tool sai as well as uh, actually made this mostly in Photoshop at school. Um, so here's what the video would look like, is this. I get these to fit in there by right clicking, make sure it's uh, kept in memory and do not show mouse. I don't know exactly what these two settings do. Um, then we go layout and we go 50, one, 10. And for the other window, 5110 just on the other sides and then you stretch it and to get it to fit right you can after you've already fit as much as you can you can uncheck keep aspect ratio and it will uh you can stretch it without um having to fit to the confines of the scale then you can stretch it to fit exactly how you want um so really you just you know right click Use the layout to stretch it and tr and crop it to how you want it. Slap it in whatever layout you have. Um, and then uh, broadcast. Local recording. And it starts recording. Now, here's a problem a lot of people have. Um, this. Uh, this whole, like... Oh, it actually goes away. But I if if you have this happening where you have this, uh, this window on top of this, for any reason, you can just go and minimize that. And then you'll keep recording, totally fine. So let's hop into the game. Um, this is my old file when I tried to do a different uh, video. Oh no, this is actually, oh, I picked the randomized one. Um, yeah, so here you go. And then it starts going and everything and you're, you're running fine. And then simply pause Desmume when you're done. Oop. There we go. And turn off the broadcast. And then we go back to the folder with your email address in it. And the most recent file will be it. Hit, uh, hit play. You might want to download VLC Media Player. It's the Traffic Cone. Just Google Traffic Cone Media Player and you'll find it. Um, and here you go. Uh, this is the entire thing I recorded, um, including the part where I did that. Um, after all that, really, um, 
uh, it's really much of a video on how to edit. This is all how to capture. Now to edit, it's a slightly different story. So let's uh, mute this for now. And let's pop into VSDC Video Editor. Uh, six minutes. I think I'm ready to go on time. As you can see, I'm recording this on Audacity. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take this video on my phone. I'm going to use one the OneDrive uh, from Verizon and get those videos onto this computer through my OneDrive. That's how I get this video from my phone to my computer where I can put this audio over the video. I just hope the 60 frames per second doesn't ruin everything. Um, so here we go. New project. Uh, high settings, 16.9, full HD. Finish. Forget all this stuff that pops up. Um, and then what we do is we take the video we want, which is the most rec recent video here, and then we have to do something funny. We have to click and drag, and then right click, and do set same size as parent. And then you can hit preview. And here's what we have. There we go. Now, the quality, I'm still working out how to try to get the quality to be best. It's going to be a bit pixely. Um, that might be from my optimizer. It might be from my... Um, it might be from the window I'm capturing in. If your computer can run it, don't use it can run original Desmume without using the optimizer or anything like that, go for it. If if you just have a little bit of problems, then there's other videos that tell you how to optimize regular Desmume. Um just by adding maybe a bit of frame skip or something. Um, but that's a different story. For this, if you can run it, run Desmume on all the full settings and try to run it maximized in the screen. Because for me, when I run this in full screen, my processor goes a bit fucking crazy. Um, it, it takes a lot of memory. Um, actually, I'm using a lot of memory right now. Holy shit. I'm, my computer is hating me right now. But uh, basically, um, I don't know if recording this in full screen makes a difference in the quality. I'm working on that. Um, so before my computer fries itself, I'm going to finish this up. So Sam done. And if you're uh, trying to get, if you're trying to do it with um, putting the overlay in later, just go to my, uh, hold up. Do do. Sorry about breathing on the mic there. I can probably edit that out. Um, so yeah, uh, see this uh, window right here? Oh, I forgot to tell you how to add this to the source. Um, so for XSplit, how I get this to appear as a source, I go add source, media file, and then it's always going to be there. I just click the media file, and that takes me to, and then I select this image, and then it works. It's all good. Um, uh, so yeah, if I wanted to, ex uh, yeah, I can go here, new archive, put it in, s drag diagonally down, set same size as parent. And I can just set it underneath, you know, um, right click, down, there we go. Kind of hard to see the layout on this camera. Say we're done. Um, then we go export project. And then we pick the video format we want. AVI is good. Check and make sure everything's good here. Preview the video here. Make sure you've fixed any bugs and taken out any parts that are boring to watch. Convert files. And then you would convert the file. Um, and it will take a while. It has to go through the entire video. Probably going to be about uh, as long to twice as long as the video itself to render. Then you go to upload in YouTube. Yeah, that's that should be everything. Goodbye, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. And please, join the TPT Network.